Hi friends. So let me start by giving you the background to this video. Now I get approached by a lot of young doctors who are uh, looking forward to join our specialty in either into radiology or medicine or surgery and uh, they keep asking about what future technologies would have a impact on healthcare in future and they want to know because they want to make a choice today so uh, that choice should remain valid for a longer duration and they want to make a correct choice by betting on the correct specialty as well so they keep asking me sir what technologies do you think are going to impact the future of healthcare and uh, what what should a physician be thinking about so first of all i want to point out to all the young physicians here is don't look at uh, the technological advancements happening in the world with a passive frame of mind that how they are going to affect you i would rather say that why don't you look to be a part of the change yourself that means that as a radiologist what i do today i want you to i want you to know 20 years back the radiologists were not doing what we are doing today similarly i also feel that what 20 years later the doctors would not be do working in the similar manner that we are working so that is evolution and that evolution keeps happening with the advent of technology and the technology becoming more and more powerful day by day so what happens is uh, we we you 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 know you know once in a while once upon a time uh, there was this famous series where uh, a world chess champion gary kasparov used to play computers and he used to beat them till the time one day he actually lost to a computer so uh, I, I, the technology would evolve and technology machines they have all evo evolved from uh, doing physical works to uh, gradually they are able to do more and more mental work as well so we 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 are in a era where we are looking at a change again so the change is like we we started with you know we can say we, there was a computer revolution then we had a internet revolution where we got connected and uh, we have a revolution of machine learning that we are actually looking forward to as well now so coming back to the purpose of this video is to talk about technologies which would make a difference in future in healthcare i would like to point out some one is uh, uh, augmented re augmented reality virtual reality which we call as ar and vr So imagine in future if you have a technology where you can superimpose the image onto a patient and try and evaluate and like or you look for an aneurysm in a AR kind of a mode your confidence in making the diagnosis would improve so i feel that would significantly make a difference in near future second difference that i feel is that in the today's connected world i feel that um, even more than the impact that machines would have the impact that we have already have of uh, social media helping us to crowd source a diagnosis i have now what have you know the things have changed is like when uh, 20 years back if i was looking at a x ray and i had a doubt you know uh, am i looking at something i i would have to go to a uh, faculty member in my department and or somebody senior to me in my department and wait and when he would get free i would show him the x ray and he would tell me okay this is not a pneumonia this is something else and we would discuss and today what happens is i have a x ray i have a doubt i am able to you know take a picture on whatsapp of course i remove the name of the patient and all to keep the uh, patient information safe and you share it with your group of colleagues and today we are part of so many crowd groups where we have you know i have a uh, my radiology colleagues or you know my college uh, my pg batchmates and all and we share into one or two groups and i say what do you think what do you think and within 15 minutes we get the crowd source information and some of them are actually working in america some is working in australia there some is working in bombay and they are able to actually connect instantaneously there's no no money exchange anywhere nothing but the knowledge gets exchanged and that helps you to build the confidence in your diagnosis and the patient management and i see same happening in my other clinical colleagues as well i see they keep discussing cases i see some orthopedic surgeons they are doing uh, uh, discussing the post ops and pre ops and what should be the best approach forward so crowd sourcing social media can actually work towards helping you in crowd sourcing your decision making in clinical practice i feel that would be one of the impactful things in future as well another you know field that i want to talk about here is 3d printing although you already know that today we have the capability to 3d print uh, prosthesis orthopedic prosthesis and you can even show to a surgeon today a complex cardiac congenital heart disease and help him visualize and do the surgical planning i feel 3d printing would have further more impact in future of healthcare i would like you to keep a look out for that as well 
and coming back to machine learning or artificial intelligence i feel it would be one of the biggest change that would redefine what we do as a doctor when i say as a doctor is that you know although a lot of people they keep pointing at radiologist radiologist i feel it would help uh, impact on the entire of the healthcare domain especially in the decision making part and it would redefine what we do now i i keep seeing in the magazines and you keep seeing in the tabloids and you keeps looking at the internet websites claiming that doctors would be replaced you know and that's like a overstatement as of now what i understand is a overstatement that you know some you will replace in near future near future means that you know i can i don't have the ability to look at beyond 10 years beyond 20 years so i i say near future i don't see uh, anything replacing doctors but it would redefine what we do is that i totally agree with like for example like there are so many things that uh, machine learning can bring to uh, improve the efficiency of the doctors to help them characterize the lesion into ways that were actually invisible to the human eye which can be done by algorithms and it can actually uh, kind of uh, make you more efficient i agree to that but to uh, to replacing the doctors it would is slightly little too far fetched at the moment and i feel that maybe it would help us to get all redefined i feel wherever the machines start playing a big role what has always happened is that the we leave the more menial tasks that or the repetitive cognitive tasks that we've been doing and we gradually do what a human being is supposed to do we we become we start putting our energies into more creative things and more human touch things because the menial tasks have been taken care of by the machine so i feel that is where the future is heading the future probably is heading towards a uh, world where this uh, all this technology would also play a big role in our understanding of disease genetics would play a much more bigger role in our patient management so i feel this is where the future is heading but i also want you to know in future uh, there would be visionaries who would also visualize the need for human touch in care and uh, we will come back to the position where we do what we need to do as a human and the menial tasks are taken care of by the technology i feel th that kind of evolution would happen in future i also want to you know point out to all the youngsters listening to me today here is to never be afraid of technology the you have to understand that you can look at future in a, in a apprehension kind of view where, where you may say that sir what would happen what would happen what would happen or you may look at future in anticipation let's see what happens and let's be a part of the change so that is where way what my uh, vision of future is let's look at what it brings and let's see if we can be a part of that future and uh, uh, contribute to better patient management in future thank you very much i hope you enjoy this video thank you